Hey, this is Mike. I'm down here at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And um, checking out this 2014 Nissan Juke. This is a crossover, believe it or not. Usually when you think of crossovers, you think of kind of, you know, family vehicles or whatever. But this is a sport crossover. It's its own little segment in the market. And um, this is a really awesome car. You just wait till you see it. It's a uh, Nismo RS Nissan 100% made in Japan crossover. But anyways, let's check it out. We've got 18 inch alloy wheels with a sporty design. Uh, red caliper, uh, brake caliper there. And you got that red stripe there across the side. All wheel disc brakes. Got the red on the back of the rear view mirror. And this is a four door vehicle. You can see kind of this back door kind of blends in the back. But you do have quite a bit of room here in the back. Of course, it's not a no large SUV or anything, but it is pretty neat. And check out the contours of that. The overall contour of it is pretty neat looking. This is an all-wheel drive vehicle and it's a an advanced all-wheel drive in that when you go around corners it, it can sense the computer can, can sense which direction you're going and give you extra power on specific wheels to make you kind of sling you around the corners a little bit better you got the LED fog lights here in the front halogen headlights kind of an interesting design up here um, these pieces right here kind of stick up and give it a little bit different look than the average car on the road especially when it comes to crossovers it's very windy today so I really apologize for that I do have a wind filter but hopefully it does its job here's a the window sticker here and I'm gonna put all this information in the description but if you want to use the pause button and check it out now you're welcome to it, it has a 1.6 liter direct injection gasoline turbocharged engine uh, extronic CVT transmission with sport mode torque vectoring all-wheel drive system that's the all-wheel drive I was telling you about before but a really cool vehicle and it does have the, the intelligent key um, you can use the key to lock and unlock it but also you can push the button on lock and unlock on the outside so you don't actually have to take the key out of your pocket so let's get to some more cool stuff here on the inside you've got suede on on the right here where your arm rests it's very soft to the touch You've got like this metallic looking thing right here, um, accenting it. Bottle holder, storage space there. Rockford Fosgate sound, premium sound system. And Ricardo seats. Now these are the type of seats you would see like in race cars and stuff. And um, you know, other than a, a harness over your shoulders, um, <laughs> uh, it, pretty much has that look and they are very deep bolstered here on the sides it's a little weird getting in and out of them for the first time if you're not familiar with these type of seats these side bolsters stick up about four or five inches so you once you clear that you rest in here it's swayed here in the middle but um, it, it is a little bit of getting used to getting in and out of them but they're very comfortable once you get in Alright, there's the glove compartment, huge one, huge glove compartment there. Checking out the back again on this side. <laughs> I like the little tiny threshold there. You've got the back here you've got cloth seats, black cloth seats with some red stitching.
very good headroom back here. For a relatively small vehicle. There's the back, has a little spoiler there at the top. And check out that pipe. Looks like a, like a performance exhaust system, I'm sure. It's got the juke badge there. And I don't see one client come back and not be This little RS badge there on that side. All right, let's go ahead and open up this. You see the little camera. Here's your cargo area and your Rockford Fosgate subwoofer. These seats do, um, you know, you can fold these down if you want. But uh, the main thing is you make sure that the seat belts are out of the way when you fold them back in place because they will get um, kind of stuff back there. This one has a cargo mat here and uh, there's your spare tire under here, a little bit of storage space there. But you don't want to you don't want to have too much stuff stored away in the vehicle because it adds more weight to it and reduces your horsepower as you probably know from my what is horsepower video. <laughs> All right, so let's check out the inside. There's the inside of the driver's door. Um, this vehicle is a new vehicle, still has some protective tape on it to keep it new for the new owner. So when the new owner gets it, there's not a lot of scuffs on it. There's the power windows, power door locks, and you can adjust the side mirrors here. You can go to two-wheel drive or all-wheel drive here. Uh, traction control, you can turn that off if you want to and really get sporty and spin tires. All right, so let me make sure the seat's all the way back and down. This is a uh, manual adjustments on the seat. You can adjust it up and down as well. So getting over that little hump in the seat. There we go. Now, I'm bolstered in. I'm not gonna slide around. And it's a pretty comfortable seat when you get in. So, uh, <laughs> now, check out this steering wheel. Uh, I've never seen one like this, um, but it's got suede here on the side. Very comfortable. You've got to check this out. Um, it's got suede here on the side, which is soft to the touch and comfortable. And then you've got up here, you know, regular leather, and then you got this red stripe here. And then it's got the red stitching all the way around the inside. But uh, this particular camera makes black look gray and I'm sorry about that but my other camera batteries went dead so <laughs> so anyways um, it's got your paddle shifters here and it looks like carbon fiber unless it's at least imitation carbon fiber if not real carbon fiber but um, you got the paddle shifters on the side to where you can shift through the gears um, really fast oh, sorry cruise controls on this side this side you got your volume control, your Bluetooth controls, your phone control, uh, the source is your different uh, audio sources, AM, FM, stuff like that. And um, you can scroll through different things here. Um, let's see here. Yeah, this is kind of scrolling through your radio station there. But here's your gauges. Now you see the left side is your RPM and it's kind of like it has a red background. You also, the center part, of the gauges has a red background there red lettering and stuff and um, there in the center you've got outside temperature you've got your um, your fuel tank and your temperature and um, and your trip a speedometer goes up to 150 miles an hour it looks like and I wonder if it actually go that fast I don't know Not, it probably will up here, suede, little uh, sunshade thing. And here's the center stack, and it's all surrounded by this um, this carbon fiber looking stuff. And I don't know if it's real or not, but it looks looks pretty neat. Let me turn this fan down. It's blowing directly on the camera. All right, so this is your touch screen. And, um, and basically you got your satellite radio, C, 
CD players up here. This one does have navigation, which right now you're viewing the map. Uh, you can push the navigation button here and put in a specific address. And uh, pushing this camera, um, that all that does is, in this case, turn the guidelines on and off. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, your Bluetooth phone, uh, you can your Bluetooth settings will be right here once you pair your phone, as far as your phone book and call lists, and um, and you know, this will kind of come to life once you pair a phone. Uh, the back button is to get out of certain uh, menu systems. That's what that back button is for. Your night mode, you can adjust how bright or dim your your the touch screen is at nighttime. Tune through the stations. Your volume is here as well. So your climate control is down here. Hotter, colder on this side. Fan speed on this side. And it's got little graphics there, which is pretty cool. And uh, D is, um, I'm not really sure what D is, D mode. Maybe you can tell me. Tell me what D mode is in the, in the, uh, in the comments. It shows a torque there so um, just let me know I don't know what that is uh, you got a sport mode which shows your uh, your boost on your turbo right here which is pretty cool you got an eco mode in case you just want to save some money on gas and not really drive that fast and then you got normal um, drive info basically how long you've driven how many miles per hour and how many miles total <clears throat> eco info info how, I guess uh, basically uh, how much your fuel economy has been in the past a lot of this will not be since the new vehicle doesn't have very many miles a lot of it's not going to be um, very accurate all right so let me go ahead and show you now in the quest of trying to find a place for my cell phone there's not really a good place to put this big cell phone. I put it right here, but as you can see, it's just going to fall over because there's nothing really holding it. I mean, you could put it there if I'm not moving, but if I'm, you know, torque vectoring my my turns and all that stuff, this is not going to stay here. And I've got a big, you know, a Samsung Note 4, so it doesn't fit in the cup holder. It doesn't fit there. Uh, I guess I can throw it on the seat if nobody's there. Um... I can throw it in here, but that's a little bit, a little bit inconvenient for me, since I might have other stuff in there. Let's see here. I guess I can wedge it in there, but it doesn't really go all the way down. But anyway, that's a little bit of an issue right now, trying to find a, a place for my cell phone. But uh, it does have a old-fashioned emergency brake right here cup holders there and like I showed you the armrest with the little storage pocket in there rear view mirror old-fashioned flip there's some lights here visors with mirrors but yeah this is a this is a sweet little sports car sports crossover car I guess you could say but yeah the seats the the front seats are all epic and then the back ones are kind of plain um, would be nice to have a place to put a cell phone and maybe you can tell me maybe there is a spot that I'm just overlooking that uh, that cell phone would fit in there nicely um, you know and this is a 14 so maybe when the 15s come out they will have a, uh, a nice little you know something some little pocket somewhere maybe have the cup holders bigger that's all they really got to do maybe the maybe a little bit bigger cup holder right here the other one could be small doesn't matter as long as you can put a phone in there all right let's take a look under the hood trying to climb over that bolster in the seat is uh may not look like it but it's a little bit of a hassle there and definitely i mean i like to see don't get me wrong but that's trying to get in and out of them or um i guess there's a certain technique i guess that i'm not familiar with all right let's get this hood up 
Oh yeah. Can you dig it? Nissan Big Turbo. In the 2014 Nissan Nismo RS Juke Sports Crossover. And you can actually see the engine a little bit. That's cool. It's got a plastic cover, but it's got... It's, so you can see right through it. All right, if you have any questions, I will do my best. And just leave it in the in the, uh, the comment section. And if you have any experience with one of these, let us all know what you think of it. Any corrections, anything like that, leave down below. Also, Grand Strand Nissan, if you uh, ever go on vacation to Myrtle Beach, stop by Grand Strand Nissan. You'll probably uh, be really impressed. I know I am. It's one of my favorite dealerships. Um, the people here are very friendly and um, and it's all because of the people you know the cars you can buy a Nissan anywhere but uh, when you go to a dealership you really want to be treated right at least I do and um, you know no doubt they have they uh, they they're really friendly knowledgeable people and um, so I highly recommend Grand Strand Nissan all right thanks for watching see you next time